Hey guys, I'm on my way to the DMV to finalize the process on getting personalized plates for my Acura TSX and I just got blindsided by an extra step that I didn't account for. This is not my first rodeo. I have gotten personalized plates for cars and I actually lost my spot to a very cool configuration that I had gotten for my Model Y for felons and falling structures. So hopefully in this video, you'll learn from my experience and avoid the mistakes I made. Unfortunately, in California, getting personalized plates requires you to go to the actual DMV at least once and this is my second time going in there. Um, I'll let you know how it went. It's a madhouse, it's a Tuesday, it's about three in the afternoon, so it must be overcrowded. Actually, it wasn't that bad, so now let's go home and put in those plates. As some of you already know, I've always loved the stock look of my cars, especially the older they get. In the case of my 2007 Acura TSX, I never intended to customize this car. Actually, I never planned to keep this car for as long as I've had it. It was supposed to be an in-between cars type of car, if there's such a thing, and here I am getting personalized license plates for it. But as always, for those of you that are only here to learn more about getting personalized plates and not because of this particular car, I'll share with you tips to successfully getting personalized plates in the state of California. But please let me know in the comments if your state has a different or better way to get these plates. In California, you can order these plates online, but you have to go to the DMV to lock the plates for your car. Otherwise, you lose your pick. Yes, you'll have the cool plates, like in the case of uh, my NYP, but they're not gonna be assigned to the car. That's exactly what happened to me when I ordered these plates. For Tesla, I failed to read the instructions properly and I lost my spot. You lose the configuration and it becomes available on their website again. At least that's the way I understand it, reading this piece of paper right here, because that's exactly what happened to me. It says something like, in order to retain your priority, California Vehicle Code requires this place to be assigned to a vehicle if they are not assigned to a vehicle within 30 days from the date of final notice, we will cancel these plates and make them available for other applicants. And then on the back, this is important. To complete this exchange of plates, please bring, which means physically go to the DMV, bring this card and the license plates and registration card for the vehicle to which the plates are to be assigned. So unless you understand something different, this is exactly how I lost my place with the cool configuration I had for my Tesla Model Y, which are these. So they just became a cool souvenir. As you saw in the intro to the video, I did go to DMV yesterday to make sure I did it right. And they told me that the plates were already assigned to my car. And I don't understand why. Maybe it's because I had to go to the DMV to renew the registration because I wasn't able to do it online. And because I had ordered personalized plates. So maybe going, going in and paying for the renewal took care of this process as well. That used not to be the case when I ordered personalized plates for my E30. At that time, they were automatically assigned to the car when I got the plates and I also got a new registration showing the new information on the actual paper. Also, before you could just go in, into the DMV website and play with the configuration of your liking and hoping that it was available, but that's not the case anymore. Now you have to enter the last three of your VIN and the, your current license plate number of your car, among other things. And this sucks because what if it is your first car, right? Or maybe what if you wanna get these plates to put them in a vehicle that you want to give to somebody and you want to make that special moment with those special plates at the time of delivery, well, it's not an option anymore. You will have to pay an annual fee to keep this place. Right now, it is $100 per year. If you order personalized plates and also want special interest plates, like in the case of this, these are called legacy plates, you're going to have to pay $40 a year to keep these plates as well. So in the case of the place of the TSX, I'll have to pay $140, and that's besides uh, registration and all that, just for the plates. And when you sell your car, make sure that you keep the personalized plates because they belong to you, and you can keep them unassigned for a while as long as you pay a fee. If you were to need a replacement for your personalized plates, you're going to have to go to the DMV with everything that comes with it. You're gonna have to submit something called a special interest license plate application. And that's what happened when I lost one of the plates on the E30. And lastly, be patient. Orders take a long time to fulfill. This set took me about seven months to get. 
Why did I get personalized plates for my Acura? Well, keep in mind that personalized plates are also known as vanity plates, which means that there's an intrinsic vein aspect in getting these plates. People get them for all kinds of reasons, and I don't judge motivations to each their own. And in my case, I did it because I've learned to love our TSX. As I mentioned earlier, this car was meant to be just momentary transportation while I fixed my other car, but then my wife fell in love with the idea of not having a car payment. Not so much with the car itself, especially because at the beginning, I was just addressing all kinds of issues and she didn't know how reliable this car was gonna be. But as, as she became more comfortable driving it around and even going on long trips, she now refuses the idea of getting a new car again. She finds the TSX a worry-free car that she doesn't have to be too careful with it as it is already full of dings and scratches. So I feel that the TSX has earned a spot in our lives and will stay with us for longer. And why not give it the same treatment that we did to her former car, the Tesla Model Y, and also my pride and joy, my beloved E30. Now the rear end looks cleaner because the old plates were just faded and peeling off. So this new license plate in the rear just wraps around the rear end beautifully and lets others know about my pride to own this car. So no, it doesn't have to be a classic or an exotic, but I'm still proud of owning this people mover that many confuse with the Honda Accord, maybe because it is actually a Honda Accord in Europe, and why did I get this particular configuration? Because it's a perfect speller. And I'm really surprised that it was available, maybe because it's not that cool after all. And I do prefer when I see personalized plates that are easy to figure out and they're not like heavily mutilated words to make a statement fit in seven characters. So a perfect speller works for me. And now it is time to show you the new plates. This is the old set, notice faded, peeling. I think the new ones are gonna look much cooler. Hi, my name is Artie. Thank you for making it this far into LTO video. Your host, Juan Carlos, would like to invite you to subscribe. Let's go back to the material. I find it kind of weird that I get a lot of compliments with this car. Maybe it's people that like the original TSX and appreciate the cleaner condition of mine uh, because I see a lot of them, but unfortunately they haven't been kept up. And with these new plates, now people will know that my Acura is not only randomly clean, it's actually loved and it is proof that you don't have to break the bank to own a reliable and stylish car. So tell me, do you think getting personalized plates for a car is a waste of money, perhaps cringing? What do you think of my configuration? I want to hear from you. Thank you for watching, and as always, please like my video and consider subscribing for more related content. See you next time.